Hey everyone, it's Matt from Newer, and today we're gonna to be playing with the multi-flash mode on our Q4 flashes. This is gonna let us fire multiple flashes for one exposure, and we get these kind of ghostly multiple images on one frame. So this is a really fun technique. We've got a great model. I'm glad you're here. This is the Newer Academy. So this is a really wild photo that we're gonna do right now. This is called a multi-flash setup. And when I say multi-flash, I don't mean having multiple flash units, although we do have two of them. The multi in this is multiple strobes firing off in one exposure. So that means that if you have a subject moving across the frame, you can fire five or six or however many times you want and freeze them in the frame. So speaking of our subjects, Autumn is back with us. Autumn is a ballet dancer, and she was very gracious to be part of our peak action shoot. Uh, that's where we shot a burst of photos and a burst of strobes to capture her at the peak of her jumps. Uh, this one's going to be a little different. The photo we get out of this is a lot more funky. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We'll talk about our setup, we'll say bye to Autumn for now, and we'll bring you back in at the end when we do our shoot. Yeah. Cool. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the placement of our lights and how we've got our studio set up. And for that, I would recommend you take a look at our peak action video because we really go into depth about these and their settings. But just to kind of sum up, I'm using two of the Q4 flash heads from Newer, and on each of them I have a softbox with a honeycomb attached to the front of it. So the honeycomb kind of gives us a little direction to our light, the soft box makes it nice and soft. It gives us the quality we want. And I've got one positioned on this side and one positioned on this side. And the reason I'm cutting them so, you know, side lighty is because if I put one in front, you know, where you would sort of typically think of a light, I would end up with shadows and lights on my backdrop. I've also got some duvetine set up on C-stands that I'm just using to kind of cut that light from hitting my background. You can also see here on my camera, I've got a Q-Pro trigger. So this is just gonna send my, uh, my wireless info out to my two flash units. I've got them both synced in here. So when I push the shutter, they fire off. So you've got a couple settings in your multi-mode. Uh, the first is the Hertz, and this is how many times a second do you want that to fire? So the bigger that number is, the faster those uh, can fire. And these guys can fire crazy fast. You can get them up to like just like so fast you don't even realize it's firing. Uh, for this, you know, the whole point of this photograph is to have Autumn perform a dance move across the frame and capture sort of these staccato images as she moves across the frame. So we don't want our hertz set so high that it's just one little slice of her action, you know, with kind of a funny like edge to it. We wanna see space between those. Uh, so for this, I went to 20 hertz. The next thing you've got is how many times you want the flash to fire. So I'm gonna go with seven. I think that gives you a really cool kind of wave effect. And the last is the power. And we metered for a 132nd power for our last shoot. So it works out great. So we're just gonna leave that alone. And I'm also gonna be shooting at a third of a second. Uh, and my aperture is 22. So I've dialed my aperture down. Uh, for our last shoot, I think we were at like an F8. I'm dialing my aperture down a lot more uh, because we have such a long exposure. So a third of a second means that my ambient light is gonna leak into that frame. So I'm just stopping down uh, to keep that you know, sort of at bay. So those are our settings. Uh, like I said, we've got our two Q4s. Uh, we've got our Q Pro on here. So we're gonna get Autumn uh, back in and we'll set our camera up and we'll see what we get.
right, that was a lot of fun. You can see we got some really wild photos out of that shoot. Uh, like I said, my flashes were firing seven times per exposure. You can go crazy with the experimenting with this. Uh, different frequencies, different exposures, different power settings, you know, different motions. This is one of those techniques that you can just have a ton of fun with and get some really, really fun photos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you go out and try this one and we'll see you in the next video.